Support for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics and Blood Assurance. I've been doing art since I was probably 13 years old. It's always been uplifting for me. I got in a lot of trouble as a kid, so my parents got me a bunch of paints and easels and drawing pads, and they were basically saying, here's something that bides your time, quit getting in trouble. And then I just went from there, and they've always encouraged it, always said, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's where I went. I can pretty much work in most mediums. I like to try to tackle all forms to see what I can do, what I can't do. And luckily with being here at the Heart Gallery, I can see that there are others out there like myself who always have a passion for doing something and they just strive for it no matter what obstacles get in the way. The Heart Gallery is a nonprofit art gallery that works with homeless and other non-traditional artists in the Chattanooga area. Back in August of 2009, uh, I was going through some mom issues. I had been a mom for the, my entire adult life. It was all I ever wanted to do. And my kids had grown up, were getting married. I didn't know what was next. And so I was struggling and came upon an obelisk on Main Street a uh, piece of public art that had been installed and it was called Homes and it's 11 foot obelisk that is 4 by 4 tiles done by clients of the Community Kitchen and Chattanooga Rooms at the Inn. It really just was a feeling I got when I saw this obelisk. I think it was from higher above. I think it was a calling. Um, I had always loved art. We collect art. Um, it kind of saved me twice in my life. Um, being homeless is not a personality defect, it's just a living condition. And I thought, there's talent, and I don't think anybody's tapped into it. And wouldn't it be cool if they could feel that empowerment of doing something that others valued and therefore realize their own worth, that they had something to share and give. The homeless population is one that I think we in a way, fear, it's just unknown, and we don't want to, we don't want to have to think about it. We don't have to, it's a darker part of humanity, and we don't want to think about it. But when we get down in one-on-one, -on -one, look somebody in the eye, we realize they're just like us. The community does see the homeless as maybe a nuisance or something that just needs to be eradicated, opposed to helping, thinking that they're just leeching off society. But they're not, people do fall on hard times, and. They do have passions that they want to achieve. They do have things that they care about. When I came up from Florida to Tennessee, I moved in with my father, who was supposed to be in a house and have, had a good job at the time. Um, but when I got here, found out that he was living in a motel and was out of work because he was injured on the job. Um, it got to the point where he got really sick and had to be hospitalized for a couple months. By the time my father got out, we were out of money, so we both became homeless. I sat in the chapel one night saying, okay, what do I do now? Where, where should I go from here? Well, the next day I was led to the art classes that are at the Community Kitchen Salvation Army. Finding a place that I can consider a home away from home, um, a home for someone who's homeless. It was really uplifting for me because I was able to come here, I was able to do what I love, do the passion that what I felt the Lord was leading me into the right direction. I just continued every day, bringing the new work, doing new work, and then when I expressed to Ellen and Brooke that I, I was interested in culinary school because that was the next stage of art that I wanted to tackle, she set up ways on uh, between selling my art and uh, she allowed me to teach art classes in the community to help pay my way through school to help pursue my dream. I think, like all of us, we just want to be able to express ourselves. And art is a way to do that. We all have different gifts, and I think when we are given the opportunity to use those gifts, we thrive. The Heart Gallery is one of those places that show 
society that, listen, there are good people out there who have bad luck and this is what they can do. It helps show who we are and give us a voice in society. It helps the artist who takes a chance on him or herself to come into the gallery and become part of a community. They share emotions, they share stories, they share their experiences, and that's what humanity is. We are just all trying to connect to one another, and I think that in and of itself is the hugest impact. Yes, when some, a piece of art sells, that artist receives 60% of those proceeds. That's great for them. They help the gallery with the 30% that we keep for cost, and then the last 10%, they choose where it goes, and they give it away. And when they have the power to give, it changes their mindset about themselves. So they start making better decisions. They will go to a community kitchen or a Salvation Army or the Homeless Coalition, and they will feel at least good enough about themselves to say, I'm trying, can you help me? And then those organizations take over the work of helping them get housing or some kind of job training. We've been able to get the most artists in housing because they now have low income versus no income. It's the beginning, it's the beginning. All the homeless artists who have come in have all been able to progress, have been able to save money or create um, enough work to where now they're either in low, low income housing um, we're able to, like myself, pay my way through arts uh, culinary school so I can get a job to make it, you know, while I've got a now two-bedroom house. Um, and it, it's something that I've always been grateful for for this place, is the fact that they're able to do something like that. There's rewards every single day, and the funny thing is, you, I went into this thinking I had something to give, <laughs> and I get more than I give. We're helping each other. We're all um, showing that enough care or enough belief in uh, an idea can literally change things, change people's lives. And that's exactly what this has done, is changed all of our lives. We are the support system that, for one reason, they couldn't find it somewhere else. They, they find a support system here, and, and that is very gratifying to know that. All these years of hard work on myself is helping others. If you're a fan of Greater Chattanooga, support it. Becoming a sustaining member of WTCI is easy and affordable, and it makes a big difference. Visit greaterchattanooga.org slash donate. Thanks.